but um you know animal organs it's it's funny how human beings at one point in time favored animal organs right but it was the primary thing that we like to eat yeah you know like i had um sunny from uh, best ever food review he's got that okay. have you ever seen that youtube show no i don't it's know a great youtube show and he travels all over the world uh, eating uh, with tribal people and going to exotic locations oh, and cool. eating their their foods and it was amazing. Like he he spent time with the the Hadza in in, in Tanzania uh -huh. and he he spent time with all these different tribal people where they were uh, they killed a goat and they're scooping up the blood the coagulated blood and drinking it. it. So yeah. he's eating it there with them. He's like, oh yeah, that's gnarly. And, and they also take raw liver and squirt bile on it and oh, gallbladder don't eat bile. juice. No. Yes, yes. Oh, that's gnarly. They, and they enjoy it. That's what they like. They like to dip it in bile and oh. blood and a mixture of the two. I get eating liver. I, I've had the blood mixed with milk that the Maasai drink. Mm. They like put a plug in the yeah. neck. I've had that. and It's palatable. I've accidentally cut the bile open on a fish once or twice and just, oh, dude. I mean, maybe mammal bile is better, but I highly doubt it. He says it's not. Yeah. He says it's awful. <laughs> it's so gross. He dude. says it's fucking disgusting. Yeah, but I bet. For whatever reason, these people have developed a taste for it, which is really fascinating. But it probably goes back to what we were saying earlier, which is it's have they developed a taste for it or do they just know that it's that good for them? So right. their brain is telling them because of the options available, eat it. Like, right. This is going to benefit you. Yeah, there's no options. It's just right. survival. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. But liver was always a big thing with the Comanche. The Comanche would take liver, raw liver, and they would squirt bile on it. Oh, I didn't realize yeah. that as well. Hm. It's crazy. Like it's it's a very common thing to, to eat it that way. Just it's become trendy again, too, and maybe it's just the pages that I follow or whatever, but I'm seeing way more of the eat animal organs that consume every part of it now than I ever did even a year ago, well, I, I think say. that started off with Paul, Paul yeah. Saladino, and then it moved its way to the liver king. Sure. And unfortunately, and like, you know, I think there's a lot of people that were duped into thinking they could actually look like that guy if they were eating raw liver and raw testicles. But the message of eat those things is a good message. Yes. Yeah. Eat those right? things. Yeah. yeah. Eat organs. Th that's really good for you. But, yep. but the idea that that's going to turn you into. But I did read something about, um, oh, actually I was informed by a friend that eating testicles that it, it is possible that eating testicles has an androgenic effect. Oh, and interesting. That it, and you can actually get some oral form of testosterone from eating testicles. Huh. See if you can Google that. Um, because they've tested some testicle supplements. And through testing these testicle supplements, they found trace amounts of uh, what would show up in a drug test. As taking oral testosterone. No kidding. Yeah. Also, just saying testing testicle supplements three times fast is. <laughs> I was like waiting for you to fumble. <laughs> it was testing testicle supplements. Uh, that's that's cool. I mean, it, you're eating testosterone. Yes. Right. So it's just there is right. something there. You're not just digesting it. I guess you're actually absorbing. Right. It. And yeah. well, Rocky Mountain oysters was always like a big thing that cowboys would eat whenever yep. they would uh, castrate bulls. Yep. 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 And turn them into steers. It's good. Have you had it? I have. It's yeah. good. It's it not tastes bad. great. Yeah. It's not bad. I yeah. mean, everything deep fried tastes good. But... Yeah. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world. <laughs> right. You know, there's right. definitely. I'd, re I'd rather have a ribeye. Yeah. Any it's day. Better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it. But, but it's, it's it's edible. You're yes. not like forcing it down. Right, You're right, like, this right. is not bad. Yeah, yeah, it's not nasty. Right. It's just like this is not bad. Yeah. 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 But it's um. You see anything about that? No. Uh, people have looked at this. Um, Google. I, 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 this is a like explanation about it. Uh, no, I understand. Uh, I was gonna say, tell you Google this, this, uh, this the whole package. Um, Google testosterone found in the whole package. Um, uh, desiccated test, uh, testicle supplements because I think the whole package is one of those uh, Liver King supplements. He, he, him and Paul Saladino both were partners in one of these companies, whether it's Ancestral Supplements or the other one, okay. where they sell desiccated or uh, dehydrated liver and heart and kidneys. And I've taken their supplements. They're really excellent. But I think one of them, I think it's called the whole package, has been shown to uh, to contain some oral form of testosterone. Is it the whole beast? 
Because I've seen that I being no. see oh, whole package. package. You're right. Yeah, okay. It says it's got testicle in it, but I don't see anything about testosterone. Yeah, but I mean, the actual testing of it, not from them, oh. from someone else. But I, I think that's great that people are choosing to eat these things, not just for their health, but the fact that there's much less animal waste. It's not all just going to dog food and things oh. like that. It's like people are starting. To, it's trendy. It's cool. Paul, Liver King, whomever, they're turning this into a thing. Yeah, Jamie, I actually, I, uh, he actually sent it to me. Hold on a second. I can send it to you. I, now I'm remembering. Um, hang on one second. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is good in that regard. Yeah. Give me one second. Here it is. Uh-huh. Jamie. Why? Is your airdrop on? There it goes. All right. Okay. Are you receiving that? Okay. So pull that up. So this is uh, someone actually tested it. And this is uh, what the results were that they had found. And this is from the whole package. So Androstine 317 Dione, 20 nanograms per gram. I don't know what any 30 of this nanograms. means. Testosterone, 250 nanograms per gram, 303 to 300 nanograms per gram. So what it is is showing that there's some kind of androgens that are available that are that people have d detected in this supplement. Now, is that orally active? That's the question. Like, does it actually increase your testosterone by eating it? Sure. I don't. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not the guy for that. But eating organs, just the sheer nutrient content of like liver yeah. per se. I yep. know a lot of people who, like my friend Derek, he eats one ounce of liver every day. Does he do just it raw? Sheer, no, he cooks. He cooks it. it. Okay, but he does it just for sheer, uh, just for health benefits. Yeah. And he yeah. feels a genuine change yeah. from eating it. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's undeniable that it's like a nutrient-dense food. It's, a, it's really a superfood. It's, I mean, I know it's been said, you know, on social media and stuff, but it's a lot of animals pick the liver if they have their choice. Mm -hmm. A lot of predators pick yeah. out livers. You yeah. know, orcas, lions, hyenas, mm -hmm. all kinds of things. Wolves. Wolves. If they have the choice, they are eating the liver immediately. Yeah, it's fascinating. Yeah. Well, that tells you something, right? That yeah. really does. It tells you that there is so much vital nutrient in that organ mm -hmm. that it's being selected for over muscle meat, over other tissue, you know, and you get different stuff from different parts of the animal. Skin has different yeah. stuff, you know, but the fact that that's being selected for first, I mean, that should be an indicator. I, th I think we can live our lives by things animals show us.